Hi, I'm Kristen White here in Tampa, Florida at the Be Legendary event, and I'm here with a real heartfelt marketer. His name is Emerson Brantley, and he's a true expert, and he's here to give us some strategies about how to truly connect with our customers today. Emerson, thanks for being here. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> I feel like I should just take you by the uh -huh. hand. There we go. <laughs> well, I love what you were talking about, that, you know, in marketing, we use terms like crush it and kill it and, you know, Target your market, Target them. dominate them. Yeah. But I think it sends out a message yeah. that's maybe yeah. not really hitting the mark. No, it, it affects the way that we think about marketing, about sales, about our markets. And, and the reality is your markets are made up of individuals. They're made up of people. They're people. And, and you want them in your life. You don't want to hunt them down and kill <laughs> them, you know? So in terms of trying to find the people in your marketing, marketing can be magic if you're authentic. It will attract the people into your life that you want. It'll subtly repel the people that, that really you don't want in your life. You know, the, the whiners and complainers and the ones who beat you down and, uh, and everything else. But instead, it'll attract the people that that will embrace you and that will want you and will listen to you as a trusted advisor who will buy from you again and again and, and forgive you when you screw up and we all screw up. And, that and, never happened. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, most of us screw up. But, uh, I'm teasing. <laughs> but these are the people that you want in your life. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that what you're talking about is so relevant because when people are getting started, either launching a new product in their business or getting started in business or taking it to the next level, they're like, well, who do I need to be now? Like, who do I need to be in this space? And they go to marketing that they think they should do. Right. And they wonder why it doesn't work, why it's not converting. Yeah. What's going on there? Well, a lot of times there's, it's monkey see, monkey do. <laughs> they're looking around them and seeing what everybody else is doing in that space and they start doing the same thing. So they, get, they, they voluntarily put themselves in a place where they're competing. And I personally don't believe in the, the concept of competition. I really don't. Because competition exists only in two places. One is in, in the gray matter between <laughs> your head and the other is in your market's mind. But now here's the trick. If you don't feel like you have competition, if you understand your uniqueness and, and, the, and the value that you have and that you're giving your market, if you understand that, guess what? Your market will understand that. They won't see anybody else as being your competition. They will see you as being their one and only, their best solution. And that is what draws them to you. You know, it's interesting what you're talking about because I believe personally that we send out an unspoken energy. Yes. Like when we're talking, yes. when we're communicating with people, we have this energy. And I personally call it vibrational credibility. Like it's our vibes. I like that. And people tune in and they say, hmm, you know what? I believe what Emerson is saying. I believe what Kristen's saying. It feels resonant with me or it doesn't. And that that's what people tune into more than anything is what is our credibility that comes from the unspoken message in addition to what we say. How does that line up? Well, first of all, that lines up by being authentic. Right. If we're authentic, then what we say is congruent with what they find when they come to us or when they call us or when they contact us. You know, and, I, and, I, and I, to take this to a different, little different, simpler level, okay, because we're talking pretty deeply here right now. <laughs> we're up there in if, the zoo. <laughs> if you were to run a campaign and the campaign said, you know, hurry up, uh, sale ends, uh, this is a typical kind of campaign, right. sale ends, only 14 left or something like that, and they call up and the receptionist says, Oh, we do that every day. That's no big, come on, you know, yeah, we have that all the time. Don't worry, you won't lose out. Well, that <laughs> simple little thing has just said to that prospective new client that what they say and what they do are not congruent with each other. Hmm. Now, you take that on through every aspect of your business. If you're being authentic and you're, what you're saying is exactly what they're getting, the value that you're promising is the value they're going to receive, okay? The values that you have are the values that they're going to see. If that's all the way through your business, that's in which, by the way, that gets into brand, but in my, in my you know, humble but accurate opinion, <laughs> branding for most small businesses really is everything about you. 
It's about your company, your products, your services, how you stand behind them, your values, your integrity. You know, all of the things that make you unique become your brand. And by the way, brands, just to take off on a little bit of a rabbit trail there, <laughs> brands are something that you have. You either have them by default or you have them by design. They're not jingles, logos, mottos, mission statements. They are everything that you are and everything that your market perceives in you. Yes, absolutely. So tell me about your new program. I call my new program <laughs> Embrace Your Market. Because big hug marketing. Big hug, big hug, <laughs> big hug market. I like that. <laughs> Embrace your market. Because if you begin <laughs> to take the attitude, let's say that you were going into a new town and you didn't know anybody and you wanted to begin making contacts and find people that, that you can build relationships with, okay? you're embracing this challenge and they're, they're going to embrace you in the process. So embracing your market, then enhancing their life with the values that you can bring to them. And in the process of doing that, what you'll do is you'll actually empower your business for exponential growth. So we were talking about Embrace Your Marketing. What's the website? Well, it's EmbraceYourMarketing.com. You know, <laughs> it makes it easy. <laughs> Straightforward. <laughs> I love that. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really enjoyed being here with you today. Absolutely.